Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about the characteristics of the leaders, followers and situation and uh, personal leadership and its quality that is the what quality this uh, leader is having because it is very important to know that is the whether the individual's personality right and uh, how his leadership style is there and that is matching or it is not matching otherwise it will, it will not continue for long period of time. Then the followership in its type, uh, if you remember we have talked earlier the uh, three factors that is the leader, followers and situation. So, whenever we are talking about the followership and then its type, uh, how great leaders inspire followership, uh, becoming a wise leader, cultivating your situation awareness, the Potter and Roshan based model, followership model, the followers response to change, the what qualities good followers must possess case study, research paper and book recommendations uh, with references as usual. So, personal leadership is a desire of an individual to take charge of his or her own life right and therefore, in that case whenever we are talking about the personal leadership it is uh, 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 it begins when we are deciding to be our your own coach right. So, that is a leadership for the personal itself by knowing knowing ourselves and the live by a personal mission statement that reflects you our values and life goals are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, the way the day we started uh, coaching ourselves and then there, there will be a personal mission statement that is what I want to do and definitely when we are talking about the leadership. So, leadership is what? Leadership is the creation of the vision, vision here we are talking about the vision for oneself leader himself and therefore, according to that vision a personal mission statement will be there. And this uh, um, to achieve the, this uh, goal or that uh, uh, meeting that objective of the mission statement right. So, that will reflect uh, our values and life goals are there that is the what we want to do. These leaders share strong personal bonds with followers right and in that case even when the leader occupies a former organizational role is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, it, it, it is the between the leader and followers to uh, uh, have a strong personal bond right. So, whenever we are talking about uh, developing the personal leadership right. So, there are certain characteristics are there the qualities are required. So, here are some personal leadership qualities uh, we can cultivate within ourselves to use our positive strengths and talents for our success and the bene benefit of those we live and work with. Uh, the first uh, like the vision, self discipline, spirituality, integrity, honesty, open communication, kindness and the legacy building is there. So, therefore, for first and foremost is the vision that is the creation of the vision. So, how do we create our vision or goal is there. So, whenever we are creating the vision then definitely in that case uh, that that is the, the goal which we want to ultimately achieve and the self discipline is there uh, like for example, uh, uh, we, we talk about uh, the time management right or we talk about the moral emotions, we talk about the modes control right. So, therefore, that self discipline will start with the personal leadership qualities are there. Then the spirituality is there. So, therefore, we will be developing the spiritual quotients right and that is the spirituality will be developed on the basis of that whatever uh, the IQ, EQ is supporting to our spirituality and uh, integrity is there and uh, honesty, integrity, honesty and open communication. So, therefore, in that case the way we are having the interaction with our followers that will be also de uh, decided by the, uh, the leader. So, th these qualities are very very uh, important. Now, whenever we are talking about the followership, so followership demonstrates the capacity to willingly follow a leader. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is the uh, uh, it is also requires uh, certain uh, uh, its uh, qualities right 
everybody will not be a good follower, right? So, uh, many times it is in the beginning itself that the person uh, becomes the follower, later on it is uh, you know, found that he is, the, he is deviating, right? He is changing his leader. So, therefore, in that case, it is important that is the what is the capacity to willing uh, follow, follow a leader is there. So, uh, everybody will not follow the leader and direction which he gets in line right for, for, uh, for the long time right? and to, it, it is a team and to deliver on what is expected of you. So, effective followers are active participants in creating the leadership process. Right? So, it is a social relationship between the leader, follower and the group is there. So, uh, um, that active participation in creating the leadership process is where, uh, uh, which will develop. Right now, uh, here uh, the follower uh, has to develop that uh, willingness. Right, so th then only he will be a part of the team, and then he will be the uh, having the strong bonding with the leader for a long period of time. And uh, uh, the whatever is expected from him, then he will be able to fulfill those expectations. So, like this way there will be the different uh, followers, uh, different types of the followers will be there and the a researcher at Harvard Business Review developed a system for categorizing the followers using two metrics, one active versus passive and two independent critical thinking versus dependent uncritical thinking is there. So, there are the five categories of the followers are there, there is a survivor uh, right in the middle of the scale, these people are adept in surviving change and they are able to adopt and conform to the situations around them. Whether this means stepping up to take on an important task or co the quietly staying in the background is there. So, therefore, here it becomes very interesting that is they will be having the adept at the surviving change. These are the passive people who do not think critically and do not have a strong sense of responsibility and therefore, in that case they, they just follow the uh, leader. So, therefore, this type of the followers uh, they will be calling as uh, the, the ship followers are there. So, survivor followers uh, on one side they are adopting at the surviving change, right? while in the case of the ship uh, they, they, they are having not making much differentiation and therefore, they, they are uh, just uh, uh, following the leader uh, uh, without uh, having an, any critical thinking whether it is right or it is wrong, I should follow or I should not follow. So, in that case uh, after the survival and this, uh, and the ship type of the followers uh, on basis of uh, uh, this a lot of followers uh, research has been done. Now, here uh, the Robert Kelly's five followership types uh, we will discuss and that is the dependent and uncritical thinking right and the independent and critical thinking on this uh, and other side is the active and the passive is there. So, whenever the active and de dependent and uncritical thinking is there right. So, that will be the yes people. So, these are this type of the followers they will always say the yes is there right and uh, whenever there will be the uh, passive and the dependent and uh, dependent right. So, then that will be the ship type is there. So, there is no uncritical thinking also. Now, whenever they are the passive and independent and critical thinking right. So, that is the alienated followers are there and whenever there is an active and the uh, independent critical thinking is there. So, they are the effective followers are there right. So, uh, definitely in that case uh, uh, that uh, the what is required from this what we understand that what qualities are required in the follower. So, follower is required to be the active and follower is required to be having the independently be able to do the work. It, not, it does not mean that he is totally dependent on the leader and therefore, he should have uh, should not uh, uh, have this uh, uncritical thinking rather than he should be having the critical thinking. So, uh, yes people are those who will readily act when told uh, what to do, but depend heavily on leaders for guidance. They do not tend to be proactive and alienated followers uh, these are independent critical thinkers who, who who are not proactive in in their roles they can effectively carry out their roles but there is often an uh, under uh, undertone of the dissatisfaction and that prevents them from the fully embracing their work and contributing to their fullest potential is there. So, here when we are talking about these uh, alienated followers are there um, in many organizations we find that is uh, this type of these uh, uh, the mm, mm, uh, followers right and they, they find themselves uh, uh, alienated right and the effective followers which is the required 
ultimately. So, these are the independent critical thinkers who follow through the enthusiastically effective followers uh, can succeed without leadership, but respond to it well making them ideal independent employee who also work well in teams is there. So, th what is required? So, whenever we want to see the effectiveness of an individual even in the absence of that individual whether the work is done or not. Right. So, if, if the people, uh, the person you know, and the follower means that he is having the independent employee and who also works well. So, the, the, that is the objective and that is the developing of the competency of the follower. So, leader will be also happy because leader does not want that uh, the follower is a burden right rather than the follower is a strength. Here we take a look at the how leaders can inspire followership, embrace the concept of servant leadership. Servant leadership is a concept that was introduced by the Robert K. Greenleaf and that we have talked in the earlier session also. Leader must be servants, the difference manifests itself in the caretaker. Right. This is very, very important that is the in fact whenever we are talking about uh, the servant leadership then in that case it is required to be caretaker by the servant first to make sure that other people's highest priority needs are being served, then the delegate strategically. So, employees want to feel uh, that they are making meaningful contributions that require an understanding of how what they do makes a difference. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is the way because uh, the uh, leader right. So, uh, to inspire the follower they give the opportunity and to give the opportunity you have to delegate. So, this delegation has been done and understanding of how what they do makes a difference right and when you give the delegation then you find that is the, the followers are doing very well in that job. Effective delegation will help to shape um, this connection and therefore, in that case uh, uh, because uh, the delegation is given. So, in uh, the, the lead, uh, follower will be also have a, a positive uh, thinking towards the leader is there. So, that will making the strong relationship. Listen deeply, employees need to know what they are being heard and that their inputs are being objectively considered right. So, uh, naturally to inspire the followers we have to listen them. So, they should feel that they have been heard and their inputs are being objectively considered um, even and especially if these inputs involve perspective data outside of the status quo. But uh, you know, uh, with my pr uh, practical experience I can say that is uh, this type of inputs can be used in future also. So, there is nothing wrong to take in the inputs uh, in the current situation however, my made with the that in the current situation they are not that relevant give clear specific recognition right. So, giving clear and specific recognition is a great way to encourage the followers are there. We follow people that we trust and uh, but while we may intuitively feel that trust in leaders is built based on their ability to exhibit the trustworthiness right. So, that they will support our efforts be honest and transparent in communications and have our backs there is more to it uh, than that. So, they, therefore, in that case it becomes very, very important that is what is the, the relationship between the leader and follower if there is a trust or not. So, even uh, when they are not uh, present leader is not present they, would, uh, they understand that yes um, this will be appreciated by the leader. So, becoming a wise leader cultivating your situation awareness. So, leadership without wisdom is not true leadership. Uh, situation awareness is the perception of elements in the environment, the comprehension of their meaning and the projection of their status in the near future. So, four strategies on improving your managerial wisdom is there. Hmm? Now, shifting focus from short term gains gratification towards the longer term strategies. This is always important. So, therefore, it is required that is the um, we are hanging having the this long term strategies and uh, we, we do not uh, focus only on the short term gains. Continuously reflecting on particular situation what happened example consults of others to learn from experience. Understanding the limit of your knowledge skills and abilities right and here I will also like to add the hobbies right. So, therefore, in that case uh, what type of knowledge? what type of skills, what type of abilities and what type of these uh, mm, uh, the uh, uh, hobbies the, uh, the follower is having. Mm, to, so, uh, expanding your practical knowledge by developing the ability to interpret the situations 
accumulating a re uh, report error of possible responses and implementing a chosen response skillfully and therefore in that case whatever we are making make, whatever we, job we are doing we are accumulating it and when we are accumulating it then it works uh, very successfully. So, Dr. Maika Andersley a leading scholar on situation awareness identified three levels where it can be developed the perception, comprehension and projection right there is a situation awareness is there and therefore in that case how do we perceive how do you um, and then how we our perception we are making the comprehensive and the projections are there and accordingly there will be the decision and actions will be taken. So, the, uh, what is most important is situation awareness. The leader should adopt the leadership styles uh, according to the situation and he should be aware about that and that awareness will come only if uh, he is a target right in the situation the perceiver you know, and the, the target means subject that subject of the perception that is very clear. So, <clears throat> if the perception is very clear then definitely in that case that will be having this uh, comprehension and projection uh, uh, very strong and when there will be a strongly uh, situation awareness is there. So, that will create a state of the environment. Now, we have to also understand that is why it is necessary. It is necessary because whenever we are talking about the state of the environment, it is giving us the, uh, the decision making power and when we are talking about the decision making power, it will give us the action. When uh, these actions are created uh, on the basis of uh, the individu individual and uh, uh, capability of the leader. So, in the uh, perception of elements in the environment, the first step in achieving situation awareness is to able to perceive the state characteristics and dynamics of relevant elements in the environment is there. So, uh, it, uh, it, it, whenever we are talking about the perception, in the perception the characteristics and dynamics of relevant elements. What are the relevant uh, elements are there? The relevant elements are the organization culture, organizational power, organizational politics, uh, situational uh, uh, capabilities, uh, the dynamics of these, uh, uh, the personalities of the followers, uh, the, the, then the, um, be, uh, the environment, right. So, all um, elements in the environment that is all will be the uh, has to be taken care employee attitude, behaviors, performance, motivation, a warning signs of employee dissatisfaction, burnout or interpersonal conflicts are there. The comprehension of the current situation uh, is based on a thorough analysis of all first level elements. It goes beyond simply being aware of the elements that are presented. So, therefore, in that case uh, definitely these comprehensions of the current situation will be that the person will be aware of the elements uh, um, um, which uh, that are presented and if, uh, if, if uh, the thorough analysis is done and the elements which are presented and they are very useful and relevant and informative then definitely in that case we will be a good decision maker and one not only needs to draw a holistic picture of the situation not necessarily with sufficient knowledge uh, on level 1 elements, but also have the ability to understand the significance of those elements in relation to, one, uh, to one's goal. A very beautiful point is this. So, therefore, in that case uh, do not worry if you are not uh, having the clear picture of the situation uh, at the uh, level 1 uh, uh, knowledge on level, level 1, do not worry right, but at least have the understanding of those elements of these situations. Level the projection of future status this level is achieved through the knowledge from elements of the first two levels and use this knowledge right uh, to project the future actions of the elements in the environment. This level is especially important because the ultimate goal of the building situation awareness is to utilize the information collected to predict the most likely outcomes as a result of these elements and to use the information to decision making is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, whenever we uh, at the level 3 right it is uh, whatever we have pursued from the level 1 and level 2. Now, ultimately we have to give a uh, awareness of the situation and that information which has been collected. So, that must be projected. So, that projection is very important. So, on the basis of your decision you will take the projection. The description of the models are as follows the Potter and Rosenberg's followership model. So, based on the two independent dimensions follower performance level and the strength of the leader follower relationship. 
So, uh, the performance initiative dimension is concerned with the extent to which an individual follower can do his or her job and he works effectively with other members of the team. Right? So, embraces the change and views himself or herself as an important asset in team performance is there. So, therefore, then the job works uh, which are effectively working with other members of the team right the, the, those all these views right and the uh, those changes and uh, uh, that leader has to consider uh, 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 and uh, uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, the uh, assets in the team performance is there so uh, uh, the the follow up performance levels right that that is having the highly concern and naturally because the ultimate goal which is you are going to achieve that will uh, depend on the followers performance right and uh, if follower performance level is 1, 2, 3. Uh, so, that will depend upon the leadership's involvement and the leadership direction and uh, in that case uh, that if individual follower can do this uh, his or her job right and work effectively then there is uh, no worry about uh, this uh, to, to the lead, uh, leader right and in that case uh, because the, the follower is doing his job very well. So, there will be less interference by the uh, leader. The relationship initiative dimension is concerned with the degree to which followers act to improve their working relationship with their leaders is there right. So, that is the relationship dimension is there. The Potter and Rosenberg's model state that the situation plays an important role in effective followership, but it may not take into account the role that ineffective leadership plays in, in followership right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, the situation has to be given the very very important is there. So, relationship uh, is the low uh, and high and the performance is low and high. So, if the relationship is low and performance is low uh, then the, it will be subordinate. Uh, it is the uh, performance is low and relationship is high that is the politician is there right and the performance is high and the uh, relationship is low that is a contributor and the performance is high and the relationship is high that will be the partner one will be there. So, Potter and Russian's followership model that clear cut uh, giving an, an indication right that is the how you can make the use of the relationship and the performance of the follower uh, to create the effective leadership is there and ultimately goal of the creating the effective leadership will be that is creating the partners are there. So, but uh, these people work harder in impressing their boss these politicians right and actually getting their work done they are often very loyal to their leaders and build strong relationships, but are low performers are there right. So, that is why they are called the politicians and these are you are the best of the best. These are the high performers who are highly committed, they have strong interpersonal skills and good relationship with their leaders is there and they understand their leaders vision while also challenging them to take it a step further. Uh, subordinates they, they do what they are told follow the rules and stay out of the trouble, but are below average performance and do not have very strong relationship with their leaders is there. So, contributors are the while these people do not have an interest in building relationship with their peers or leaders they are motivated by the subject matter and very hard worker is there and therefore, in that case uh, they are making this contribution is there. So, uh, ultimately what is the learning? Learning for you is that uh, what I will advise is that identify where you are whether you are into the politician or into partner or subordinates or in the contributors is there and wh what you should be right. So, naturally on the basis of this uh, uh, understanding of uh, the concepts we can say that the every follower should be a partner and when he is a partner then definitely in that case uh, he will develop uh, that parti parti uh, particular uh, the career path also right and the naturally and that followership will be strong. Malicious compliance is there follow response to change and this occur when followers either ignore or actually sabotage change requests right. So, therefore, many times uh, the leader wants to make certain changes right and the follower uh, is not ready to make those changes. So, therefore, that will be malicious compliance will be there and uh, compliance will be there response to change 
this takes place when followers do, uh, do no more than abide by the policies and procedures surrounding the uh, change request, right? And therefore, in that case, uh, this, this will be the, uh, he is having the completely uh, following those rules and regulations. Cooperation, followers willingly engage in those activities needed to make the change request to become reality and therefore, in that case, it is a cooperation. So, whatever the changes the leader wants to bring and then he is, he is supporting those leader and uh, that particular changes. The commitment is follower embrace change request as their own and often go to the extra mile to make sure work gets done. And therefore, in that case that charismatic and transformational leaders are adopted getting followers committed to their vision of the future and it is a commitment is there. So, leader will be able to get the commitment from the followers whenever he is bringing those particular changes and follower is making those embracing those changes and adopt those changes as a result of which uh, uh, the leadership will be uh, the effective and follower followership will be uh, better. Uh, the uh, my uh, business general work qualities of good followers must possess now. So, if you want to be really an effective and efficient follower and a good follower. So, according to the my business general, uh, it isolates the qualities of a good follower in the business world uh, it is given. The judgment followers must take the direction, but not blindly a uh, good judgment is required to establish the difference between following good instructions, following or containing instructions that are ethically inappropriate or constitute Un, uh, um, uh, sports men like behavior, right? So, therefore, in that case, you have to do the judgment what has been asked you to do, and then uh, it does not mean that whatever has been is suppose something is unethical, please do not do that, right? So, that judgmental uh, whether this doing this thing is right or wrong, and then that is very important. Competence in order to follow followers must be competent and they must have the relevant knowledge and skills to play their position whether they play in on offense, defense or the special teams are there. So, therefore, in that case uh, in uh, follower must be really the competent person. Right? So, unless until they are having the relevant knowledge and skills and then uh, uh, they will not be successful. Like you see that you, uh, you, you are required to be the partner then your competency level that has you have to increase unless and until you do not increase your competency level uh, then they, you will not be a good follower. So, to be a good follower the, the that cannot be compromised competency cannot be compromised. Honesty, followers have a responsibility to be honest, respect and politeness are important, right. So, therefore, in that case this is the uh, very, uh, very uh, trans, uh, necessary that, that, that he brings the transparency. Honesty means what? That is the uh, with the respect and politeness, right, he is able to offer constructively critical feedback. So, it is not criticism it is the feedback and therefore, the corrective actions are to be taken and he should be that much honest to give that particular feedback. Courage is takes the real courage to confront a leader about concern with the leader or that leader's agenda and if he finds something is wrong, he should be able to communicate and uh, discretion follows over leader's discretion. Talking about the sport, teammates, coaches and other staff inappropriately is at best unhelpful and more likely harmful is there. So, therefore, in that case it is the uh, le that leader's uh, dis le uh, discretion that has to be followed and the loyalty is important and relies on the strong aliveness and the commitment is there. We always talk about this that is the unless and until the loyalty is not there that leadership will be incomplete. To complete the leadership it is very necessary that is the follower he is having the strong loyalty toward, towards the leader because loyalty is not a, a, on, only a skill, but uh, it, it, it is the respect for the leader. The work ethic, so good followers are good workers they are diligent, motivated, committed right and therefore, they pay attention to the details and make the effort. So, they, therefore, uh, they are hard working right and they, and they keep on doing the job. So, highly diligent and uh, they are doing this job not because of any reason, but highly motivated because without self motivation we have talked about the intrinsic motivation and leadership unless and until there will not be the intrinsic motivation and the uh, how you can continue the followership, right. So, therefore, that uh, motivation will make you the committed towards your leader and the uh, no, uh, not only at the surface acting 
but it, it, it is the at the deep level and therefore, they pay attention to detail and make the effort is there. A very interesting point is there that is the ego management. Now, you see the many times because the leader is in the position and many times he communicates in a way uh, which hurts the ego, ego of the follower. So, good followers have their egos under control and they are team players in the fullest sense of the con concept, right. So, they have good interpersonal skills. The success for good followers is always depending upon they are able to manage their uh, ego is there and um, uh, as usual uh, we now we will be having the uh, case studies and uh, research papers and the book recommendations for you. So, this Bob Nolling was a former member of the uh, uh, Helvet Packard right shell exploration this case study that is the how he has done his leadership that you will find and uh, uh, in, in this situation how that uh, he has been uh, doing the effective leadership. Uh, with the changing of the uh, situation. So, therefore, in that case how the situation has been changed. So, the this will be assignment for you. Does Bob Nolling uh, use a rational or emotional approach to drive change right. So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, what, what, what will uh, be creating the impact on the followers. Do you think it is possible to teach leaders how to implement the change and therefore, if you think uh, that uh, yes uh, the leaders uh, 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 can be taught right that is how the change is to be managed. So, change management and leadership that is the very interesting another uh, uh, the concept that is the yes uh, if you want to bring the uh, effective changes you can do that particular uh, uh, the leadership style. Uh, this is the research paper. And do follower characteristics moderate the leadership and the employee engagement, right? And we have talked about the employee engagement and leadership that session, and therefore, in that case, uh, to create that employee leadership into the followers, right? To create that vigor, absorption, and dedication, right? So, this moderate leadership is uh, very, very important. This paper talks about that, right? And uh, these papers uh, will be giving you an idea that is the how we can in increase the employee engagement and uh, this is the book leadership for the follower commitment is there and uh, whenever we are talking about the uh, increasing <laughs> increasing or gaining the commitment of the follower right and making uh, them uh, to be the partner in our leadership uh, the process then this book will be really helping you uh, in, in the extent that is the you will be able to create uh, a more follower commitment. And uh, this, this is the research based case studies are there the practical managerial experiences. These are the references from where this material has been taken and for your further uh, uh, studies in detail you can make use these references. This is all about uh, the uh, leadership and the followership right. That is uh, how the, you can create uh, the, uh, the series of followers. Thank you.